Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a quick update about my DIY gouache palette. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below or above, whichever. Um, it's been a few days, I haven't used it yet. Um, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed. Pat on the back. <laughs> so, I'm impressed because the glue is amazing. I will continue to use the E6000 because for the past few years I've been using my old trusty glue gun, but that takes a while to heat up. It really, it's really stuck on there. I'll show you guys. All right, let me show you how easy it is to open these containers up. Oh my god. So fun and easy. <laughs> I love the sound of the flip up lids. Um, so yeah, the glue is super strong and I don't know why it took me this long to start using it. But yeah, let me zoom in on the paint. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look how buttery it is. And I'll do a touch test with the burnt sienna. Look at that. Like it just came straight out of the tube. And it's been a few days. Awesome! So for this demo, I chose a photo that I took last year when I went to San Francisco for a few reasons. One, I miss San Francisco. Some of you may know that I kind of have a soft spot for San Francisco. I don't know what it is. It might just be the vibe, the architecture, um, the people. It's just the vibe in general. Um, and this photo really stood out to me just because I really like the colors in this photo, especially from the house. The house has this very nice periwinkle color and the vines in front with the beautiful magenta reddish colored flowers. Every time I see these vines, I just ugh, think they're so pretty. So I just really like the color scheme. I think those two colors suit each other well. Now going back into the palette, um, I want to mention this because a lot of you have commented on my DIY gouache palette and thank you all for the awesome feedback and a lot of you guys left some awesome tips as well which I think a lot of you can use and will be very helpful to you. Um, so first of all, I think it's important to customize your gouache palette to your liking and to your own style. So you don't necessarily have to copy my palette step by step because honestly, you know, this is just what I think works best for me and it kind of just suits my style and personality. Like I'm very minimal and I like black. <laughs> That's why I bought a black tin. Um, and the size of it, I think just really works for me because you know, I only have 14 colors. Some of you guys may have less. Some of you guys may have like maybe 24 colors that you want to use in your palette. But the most important ingredient to this recipe are the paint pots because, of course, you're more focused on the paint. You want it to last long. You, you don't want it to crack. So that's why this solution with the paint pots is very essential to this whole palette but when it comes to the actual tin or the mixing palette you can use whatever you think is best for you you may think that the tin that I used is too small or too big so really you don't have to copy my palette step by step it just really makes me happy to know that this solution really helps a lot of you. And I love to see your customized palette and, you know, it just really shows more of your personality and your style. So, yeah, do what works best for you. With whatever materials you're using, I think 
it's so awesome to not be so traditional when it comes to your supplies. Um, that's why I enjoy looking at other people's like DIY palettes or you know other solutions as far as like you know sketchbooks people make their own sketchbooks by hand which I think is such a cool idea and it's just re it's just really true to you so that's why I think it's so awesome um, to see other people make their palettes in their own way so a lot of you suggested, instead of using glue, to use magnets, and I think that's a really great solution. I've actually thought about that, but for me, I don't find myself moving the paint colors in my palette. I don't even do that with my watercolors, so I wouldn't do it in this gouache palette. So I'm definitely fine with how I set this up. You know, I'm not going to change the pots in a, you know, a different order because, I don't know, I just don't think about doing that. But if you are that kind of person who likes to move their colors around or add different paint colors, then definitely try the magnets. And let me know how that works because, you know, I would like to know, um, you know, maybe in the future, if I want to do that, maybe add more colors. One thing that I noticed from my palette as I was using it in this demo, is that the paper palette that I used, it started to warp. For me, I think it just made it easier to remove from the tin. So it wasn't a big deal for me. Also, I had no problems of the paint or water dripping down since my lid doesn't lay flat. Some people, I think someone mentioned that, you know, maybe there would be a problem of like the, the paint or water dripping from the lid, but I didn't have a problem with it. Um, I don't use a ton of water when I'm mixing but yeah I didn't have any problems with anything dripping so I'm totally fine with it yeah that's the only thing I noticed um, overall I'm still very impressed with how everything just worked out now before I go I just want to mention if you guys missed the video that I posted previous to this I just launched my patreon page a few days ago and I'm really excited and I hope you all can join in on the fun. There's some cool rewards I'm offering. I'm doing blog posts, I'm doing behind the scenes, I'm going to have scans of the illustrations that I post on my YouTube and in my Instagram so if you want to see the finer details I will post them on my Patreon. I will also be doing more real-time videos and much longer ones of me explaining my process. And the most fun reward, I think, is Sketch and Wander with me. So if there's any of you who live in San Diego and would love to sketch with me once a month, you have your chance. It's limited to five people. So check it out if you have the time. I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!